Now, sometimes when you're working on an image, you'll want to use rulers and guides in order to help you align things better or otherwise allow you to create specific points in the image that you'll want to refer to later. So in order to do this, it's very, very easy. We will go up under View and go down to Rulers. Now, as you'll notice, it added a ruler to the top of the image as well as the side of the image. So if we wanted to see how big her head was, maybe it's for one of those identification badges or something. I, I have no idea. One of the things that we can do is create guides around her face in order to separate it for ourselves. So by clicking on the ruler itself, we click and drag. And now notice that it pulls out a guide. And wherever I put it and let go, it's going to drop a guide for us. Once again, I can click and drag from the ruler and I can bring the guide in over here and let go. Do it once again for the other side of her face and once again down below. Now, we've simply designated guides for ourselves. These are not permanent and they do not print. So if I wanted to, I could hover over one of these guides and hold down the control key, or I think it's the command on the Mac, and it changes the cursor from whatever it is currently to this one, which is this double arrow going up and down, which says I can click and then bring the guide down here and let go, or click and bring the guide up here simply as a way to move things around. Now going back to how big it actually is, well we can look and see that it starts almost at two inches and almost at five inches, but you can become much more accurate by clicking the corner up here in between the two zeros and click and drag. And that'll allow us to come out to this specific point. And when I let go, it'll reset your zero, zero point to here. And that allows us to see that the three inches is over here. And we're actually a little bit large for that. So I'll hold down my control key and click and drag back into three inches. And then down here can be four. So I will click and drag down. And now our image is three inches by four inches. This is simply a way to help you if you need this specific information. If you no longer wanted to keep these guides, you could click on them and drag them up into the ruler. And then they will disappear. And if you wanted them back, you would have to put them back. And once again, if you don't want to see the ruler, you can go view rulers. And now we are back to where we were before. As I mentioned, neither rulers nor guides will print, and they are simply for your use inside of Photoshop.